Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. In this tutorial, we'll be working with the Illustrator Gradient tool. This is Adobe Illustrator CS6. This uh, tutorial should also work in previous CS versions of Illustrator. So the Gradient tool is a little bit odd. You have to use the Gradient tool with the actual Gradient Palette. You can just double-click the Gradient tool and that should open up the Gradient Palette. Uh, please note that there are some minor differences between Macintosh and PC, but that should not hold you back. Now, with the gradient tool, a couple things here. When you select it, you're going to get uh, the uh, gradient palette that opens up. The, you have to select what type of gradient. There are two available, linear or radial. Now, when you select that, all of a sudden your color is gone. Okay, so you got to uh, just kind of bear with me just for a moment here. So it defaults to a white to black gradient. Okay, we've got a couple things that you could do. You could hover above it right here. And you notice what we're actually seeing is this is now the actual gradient tool. Prior to actually applying a gradient using the gradient palette, we could not actually see the tool. So let's talk about the tool first. Okay, this little, uh, it's like a home plate, if you will, is um, the actual color of the gradient. It also controls where that color starts, you know, so I'm increasing this here. Okay, um, this right here is the actual midpoint. So if you don't want it to be perfectly a centered gradient, you can drag that midpoint around. Okay, here is the opposite color. And on this one here, what we can do is now shorten the actual length of the, of the gradient. Note that this one is a kind of a diamond shape or a rotated square. And over here, this is a round one. Now this round one here, you'll notice you can actually go in there and start moving around. So this allows you to reposition the gradient. You can even place the gradient completely off screen. Now if you hover just outside of uh, each of these here, right on the end here this is the diamond shape just go right outside of it you're gonna see your cursor changes and now you can actually rotate that gradient so that's how the gradient tool works there are a couple other options there but um, we'll just leave it at that for right now I'm gonna reset this back here to how it was I'm just using com control Z command Z on a Mac to undo now to change colors you've also got this palette here you can do a lot of that same stuff for example right in here we can change the angle of it this is if you want to reverse the gradient, so now it's the white's on one side, the black's on the other. This is the actual colors here. This is your midpoint slider here. If you want to change the color here, what you can do is you can double click right on the actual home plate or this color uh, gradient slider tab. That opens up here where we can get uh, black to white. If you want colors, you got to switch to, uh, I like hue saturation brightness myself. Now what I need to do is give this some color and now you'll notice that it's actually beginning to change you also have your swatch palette here and where'd this palette come from where well, it's your actual swatch palette inside of Illustrator that's where it's coming from now another way to, to do this is you can actually take a color and drag it right on top of, of that uh, color um, tab there and that's how you can actually go in and change it okay so once again you can just drag a color in right on top of it, it has to be on top otherwise it will not work so and another thing you want to be careful with is if you actually uh, click in the center, you're moving your sliders. If you click below it, though, you're going to get another tab there. Okay, and that third tab allows you now to add a third color. And so you can actually add as many of these as you want here. To remove a tab, you got to select it. You notice that if you look at it closely, the triangle on top is filled in black. You got to click the, that and then throw it in the trash. Uh, you, you must have two sliders to have a gradient. You cannot throw these ones away. You would have to go in there and actually remove the gradient. Now there's no remove gradient option here, but what you could do is come right back over here and just select a solid color uh, for that particular uh, object and now the gradient is gone. So this is a little bit about the gradient tool. It involves a palette and a tool. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is 5minutetutorials.com. If you like what you're seeing here, please uh, share our website with all your friends.